Hey, what's up, guys? So it turns out that the Japanese uh, Direct Mini had a couple of more announcements. So that's pretty cool. Let's watch what's different. It's four minutes longer. I'm guessing, uh, I'm guessing, uh, ooh, this game looks really good. I'm really, really interested in this one. It's called Sakuna of Rice and something. Sakuna. Rice and Ruin. Things from Marvelous. It looks pretty good. It's like a 2D, uh, it's like Metro Metroidvania. With compass, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm very, very interested in this one. It started as a PS4 exclusive, I think. ため<笑> This year. I don't know how they uh I think it's uh yeah November Yeah November uh, it's weird how every every country has its own way to put the dates and stuff. This is the Jokai watch. I know, Raisa. Raisa too. Nice. Yeah, frame rate looks very uh, switch. It's cool that they are doing a new one. I mean, they make these games like super quickly. There's always one like almost every year. The Atelier games. But uh, it's cool that they are reusing the character. Yeah, they are the same characters. Cool. Coming soon. Okay, there's the King of Haru. Let's see if they show. I don't think. I have no idea who these characters are. Tell Linkia, obviously, but uh, I've never been like too into the shadow versions of characters. But yeah. 39 new songs. Yeah, 
第3弾は追加シナリオ「仮面交響曲」「スタルキッド」をプレイヤーに新たなフィールド新たな楽曲そして新たなシナリオが楽しめるつける仮面によって能力が変わる「スタルキッド」を待ち受けるものとは第1弾「新たなる挑戦者たち」は7月21日配信開始第2弾以降も順次配信さらに3つの有料追加コンテンツ全てが入ったシーズンパスも7月21日配信開始そして今回ご紹介した追加コンテンツなどを全て収録したパッケージ版を7月23日に発売スプシングスクーハイラルの冒険はまだまだ続く Oh, what's this?、Uh, it's the train, it's Momotaru, Momotaru, and Setsu, something like that. Very popular、uh, series in Japan. I don't know if we ever got in any here. Yeah, this are. They have like their very specific audience. But it's cool that they keep churning them out. Hail the medium sized games. Please keep making them. Nobody wants only to play the same type of game all the time. LAN Tyson. そしておなじみあらゆるおせっかいでプレイヤーを貧乏にしてしまう貧乏神最新作では持っている物件を吹き飛ばしてしまうキングボンビージュニアポコンや借金をさらにビッグにしてしまうビッグボンビージュニアポコンやビッグボンビージュニアポコンやビッグボンビージュニアポコンやビッグボンビージュニアポコンやビッグ But it's like the map of Japan, no? Oh, look! It has、uh, any NES version. Also, also November. Cool. Oh, yeah. I'm actually excited about, about、uh, Sakuna. Game's already released, I think. That was Ninjala. Pretty good. I'm really enjoying it. But、uh, yeah. Fairy Tail. Coming、uh, very soon. Oh, that's the Jokai watch. <laughs> Crystal Chronicles coming soon. August. Same date. I was a big fan of this、uh, anime when I was young. Jump Force. Nice. So they're going to finish with the same games. Oh, five. They're not going to. They're not going to announce Nocturne. There. Weird. That's good. Character, they change a little bit. From the previous、uh, teaser. Savior, but not really the savior. Yeah, very interesting 
checking these games. Uh, this has been like mostly PlayStation and handheld games. Games that I have never. Uh, platforms that I. The last handheld I had was the Game Boy Advance, and I never had a PlayStation. So. Oh, and this year it's going to be the Nocturne. In Japan, maybe. Maybe not. It's a PS2, no? PS2 game. Nocturne. And I think Persona started like as a spin off from this actual. I think so. Don't take my word. Be, please, uh, please correct me in the uh, comments. But uh, yeah. HD remaster. I'm wondering if this is for all platforms. Or is it going to be exclusive? I guess it's going to be uh, multi-platform. But Atlas is weird. Remaster. Yeah, this year for Japan, October 29th. Cool thing. So yeah, that was the Japanese version. Uh, a couple of games that I'm also, also interested in. Ryzen and uh, Sakuna. That one looks really, really cool. And uh, so yeah, that's four games that I'm really interested in. And a couple more that uh, I may be checking out. The Fairy Tale game I think looks cool. And also uh, Crystal Chronicles. I played, I had, I rented it, I remember when it, in the game code, in the GameCube. And, uh, but yeah, you needed like that super weird setup with four Game Boy Advance to be able to play multiplayer. Uh, which obviously I didn't, I had friends, but I, none of them had a Game Boy Advance. So yeah, it was very difficult to do that. And I played it by myself. And yeah, it was, it was not, it was definitely not designed to be played as a single player. So yeah, I'm excited to try it again. I'll try it again uh, now with the online. I don't know if they have a confirmed like you can play with like no it's been confirmed that you can play four players in one switch. But I don't know if they have announced that you can have like a local uh, players because that would be very interesting. I know that you there's like a demo and if there's one person who has the game I think everybody else can play I mean from a it's also in smartphones so uh let's see I mean hopefully they clear that up closer to launch but yeah I'm interested in also Crystal Chronicles to check it out so yeah that's going to be it, my reaction for this one this version uh cool things cool cool things I, I think it Maybe they have they don't have like release dates for for the other games, so maybe they didn't garner that much expectations. Right, set for example in the West, but uh, yeah, it's cool that this is uh, they announced those things. So keep positive, guys. See you guys next Thursday on the Xbox uh, showcase. Uh, it's going to be uh, I think nine a.m. Pacific, eleven a.m. here. In the time local time so yeah uh, hopefully you can join me and uh, if you can't well at least you can check my reaction on youtube on dr blitz uh no uh, the twitch my 
which account is uh, Dr. Blitz K uh, on, on Twitch. Uh, my channel is Dr. Dark or Dark J O R. So hopefully you get to watch some stuff of my reactions there. This is mostly what I upload on YouTube. Uh, as reactions, I just I just love watching every kind of a content that that uh, companies put out. So yeah, thank you very much everyone for watching and see you guys.